This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Tuesday, April 4th. I'm Michael Groff. Windy conditions in the valley last night, along with a little bit of rain. Sky Harbor officially checking in with a 51 mile per hour wind gust just after 8 p.m. and a trace of rain. Now, many spots in the valley didn't see anything at all. Looking ahead to the rest of the week, a warming trend will take shape, but another shot at cooler air and maybe some rain for the weekend. Let's look outside and see what's going on out there. Sunny skies in the valley right now at 7.30 a.m. 59 degrees to start the day. Dew points at 34, humidity 39%. The winds are light. The barometer is rising. Temperatures across the area this morning. Of course, the cool spots, Fort McDowell and Maricopa, they're in the upper 40s, but most of us are in the 50s to near 60. Satellite picture shows clear skies across the state right now. On the watch warning map, all the actions to the east, wind advisories and red flag warnings, New Mexico, Colorado, Texas, and then some dense fog advisories, parts of Alabama and the Florida Panhandle, and old man winter hanging on in the northeast. On the convective outlook, active weather later today, especially around Tulsa, north and east to Joplin, Missouri. That's where the enhanced risk of severe storms are located today. The threat of strong damaging winds large hail and even some tornadoes there the standard slight risk we've got two zones there first of all from around fort smith arkansas north to joplin missouri and parts of mississippi and alabama to include biloxi mobile montgomery birmingham so let's talk about our weather and see what's going on there we'll look at the models here's the gfs the 06z run valid at five o'clock mountain standard time today that trough that affected us yesterday it is now off into the plain states Around here, high pressure will be building in. Mostly sunny skies should be a pretty nice day. Highs in the low to mid 80s. Tonight, we're clear. Lows mostly in the 50s to about 60. And then tomorrow, sunny skies. Highs in the mid to upper 80s. On Thursday, sunny. Upper 80s and low 90s. Friday, same thing. Low 90s. The sky mostly sunny. We see a deep surface low. 981 millibars just west of Vancouver, Washington. Then on Saturday, as that trough moves into the western states, we see a cold front drag south and starting to enter our region. So some winds picking up in Southern California, Southern Nevada, and along the Colorado River. Here in the valley, some breezes as well as an increase in clouds, especially late in the day. Highs in the mid and upper 80s. Saturday night, as the cold front begins to move across the region, uh, we'll see some possibility, a slight chance, I'd say, right now of showers. The last few deterministic European and GFS runs have suggested at least a, a small chance of rain, but are not overly bullish on moisture. And this far south, you know how it works this time of year. Not a lot of moisture and not a lot of dynamics, but height falls behind this system. The cooler air rushing in certainly will be enough for some mechanical forcing to warrant a slight chance of showers or thunderstorms Saturday night. Then on Sunday, that moves off to the east. We'll have a much cooler day, breezy conditions, partly cloudy skies, and highs in the mid and upper 70s. Certainly not as cool as some of the previous model runs had suggested, uh, but still much cooler conditions nonetheless, highs below normal. Same for Monday, upper 70s, partly cloudy skies. And then on Tuesday, this is a week from today, the 11th of April, a mainly zonal flow. And highs getting back to normal, low and middle 80s. Same on Wednesday, maybe some short waves moving through and some clouds from time to time, but certainly nothing sensible in terms of weather conditions. And then this is the end of the forecast period, Thursday, the 13th of April. And some of the numerical guidance suggests we'll be back up in the 90s, but synoptically, this looks like we'll have highs close to normal, mainly in the mid 80s. Let's look at numbers off of the European Ensemble through the period. Warmer later this week and then downtrending temperatures this weekend. And then the big warm up later on in the month. And that's a look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video back here tomorrow morning. Thanks so much for watching. As always, leave your comments and suggestions and we'll check them out. And we'll see you back here tomorrow.